Okay, so I can only procure one set of this Umu 30 uh, resin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to fill up the space with some wood pieces. I've got a couple wood pieces over here. And uh, I'm gonna try to get that to work. And I hope, I pray, that I'm gonna have enough material because right now it's looking awfully thin. Gotta get every little last bit out of here because I need every drop. There's no extra. spot. I got a piece right here where that goes. These go a little bit more. Mm, it's not looking good. So I went ahead and just took everything out since I know that I'm gonna need more material to put in there. So what can I do? Okay, so what I got going in here is I, I just had to order some more material. And uh, to finish off this last bit here, this stuff only makes about 32 ounces of material. And I don't think I have enough material to fill in this whole area. So I was going to use some wood blocking to sort of take up that space. Um, but what's going to happen is that once the material gets in there and the blocks are in there, they'll float. So I want them to stay all the way down. So what I have to do is I have to put these um, wooden dowels in there to take, to hold them down. I've already got wooden dowel holes in there, which means I'm gonna to have to fill in those holes because I tried to do this earlier and it didn't work uh, because I had way too much uh, material to fill in. Uh, I had 32 ounces at the time and I was just pouring in that mold and uh, it didn't work. So I have a very little amount of uh, material to go and I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, make this work this time. Mm -hmm. Looks like I'll be able to use the existing holes to fill up this material. So, let me think about this. I'll put this in here now. The wooden dowels are gonna be over top of the material. All right, let's see if we can clean out this bucket. You <laughs> see that? Just easy to just, this stuff just, just flies out of here. Oh, I love it. Talk about easy cleanup, my goodness. Teflon buckets, perfect, perfect job. Love working with, with silicon, it's easy cleanup. So I think what I'm going to do is use some of my shaping tools to align where the, uh, where the dowel should go want material to flow in and around them because essentially they're going to be stuck inside the model. So I'm going to go ahead and place a hole here, place a hole here, and do the same on the other side. See, I stuck them all together thinking I was going to play with them and try to clean it up later, but that never happened. You can see that it didn't really, the silicon doesn't really stick to wood. I have some plugs already used to stop the material from coming through. Inside. 
together. Take them out right now. The reason I'm doing it this way is so that when we peel open the, uh, the mold, it'll allow it for bending that way. Just barely enough. And it's a good thing I put those things in there. All right. Yes. Let that sit overnight. Be hard enough for us to work with. It's now been seven hours. So we're going to hold off on that till tomorrow. Approximately 10 hours later. I can't get this apart. So, so I'm going to attempt to find the edge. Separate it somehow. Ah. Detail in there. Happy about that. That side looks good too. All my holes look good. Awesome! Remember to like and subscribe. See ya!